where under midnight sun laggard crops are hardly won. Where the sower casts his seed in furrows in the fields of Eden. Where beside the sacred tree spins the seer who cannot see. say what he wanted? No, nothing. Oh, it's nothing professional. We are lucky people, Dick. Oof. <laughs> oh, but I'm afraid of so much happiness. Oh. It's all right. Max paying a friendly visit, that's all. I'm afraid I'm not. Then you've wasted a journey, you old nuisance. You don't know what I want. To jockey me into some queer job where I'll make an ass of myself. I told my masters that the only man who can pull this off is Sir Richard Hanney. <laughs> Damn your impudence, Mac. You were keen enough in the past. Both of you. Oh, I was a soldier, not a top dog policeman like you. Didn't matter whether I lost my life from a crump in the trenches or a private bullet on the back stairs. Are you going to give me lunch before I talk? You'll eat nothing until you tell me what you expect me to do. Find three people, that's all before they're murdered. The war's destroyed so much. Old patterns, old codes. There's never been such a chance for a rogue in politics or in crime. They're combining into a worldwide clearinghouse. We're on to some of them and ready to pick them up at any moment. But they've taken three hostages as a precaution. Adela Victor. The only daughter of Julius Victor, the American banker. Two weeks ago, she went down to the village to send a telegram. She went through the lodge gates, and that was the last that was seen of her. Lord Mercat, the grandson and heir, as you know, of the Duke of Alcester. Two weeks ago, he went back to his lodgings at Oxford to dress for dinner. A servant saw him on the stairs. He hasn't been seen since. Ten years old, the son of Sir Arthur Warcliffe. The old man's a widower. He'd taken a house near Rye so that he could be near the boys' prep school. David was keen on birds and used to walk in the woods. Two weeks ago, he did just that and walked into thin air. Hmm. He followed up a hundred clues but come up against a blank wall. I need you have a knack for stumbling on hidden truths. I suppose this worldwide gang of yours is pretty respectable to outward view. Highly. A Shropshire squire, a banker from Genoa, a senator from Western America, and so on. Then it's not only the money they want. No. Money is a means of power. Now, how are these disappearances connected with each other and with your gang. Each parent has received this bit of doggerel. Seek where under midnight sun, laggard crops are hardly won. 
where the sower casts his seed in fellows of the fields of Eden, where beside the sacred tree spins the seer who cannot see. Oh, it's preposterous nonsense. Oh, all right, it proves the cases are connected with each other, but... But surely you'll rescue those poor young things when you round up the gang. I doubt it. We must strike in six weeks. And when we refuse to bargain, which we must, they'll murder the hostages and swing with a lighter mind. Unless you get them out. All three of them, Dick. The decision's yours, of course. But I count on you. No. We're going to Scotland later for some stag. You succeeded before with worse material. You think about it. <laughs> 